How are you guys doing today? So we have a very, very exciting episode for you. If you saw the live stream, you saw what we're gonna show you. Also, obviously the thumbnail. But Kyle, I mean, we've got some little, little Chinese beauties. Yep, this is the third successful year of producing Chinese alligators. So this is kind of my, my baby per se, my project that I've uh, taken on with a good friend of mine that owns the parents uh, that stay here. And you know, they've been breeding successfully for three years now. It's, it's such an incredible feat because these guys, like there's only about 200 left in the wild. So these guys are critically endangered and extremely rare in the United States. Want to pick one up so we can see it? Yeah. Get this. Yeah, and like you're saying, there's so little amount of them in the wild, like less than 200, but also in captivity. There's not a whole lot, especially here in the US, there's only been a, less than a, probably a handful of facilities that have ever really produced them. Mm -hmm. And they haven't been produced until you and a couple other people started three years ago. But before that, it was a 25 year dry spell of not yeah. having any produced in the US. Yep, so me and another facility, a good friend of mine in Texas, uh, he produced them three years ago and he's had the same success. So we've, we've been really killing it lately. So these guys yeah, are and you guys been so matching. cute. And let's check underneath here. And what are you looking for there? So I just want to make sure the yolk sac area is nice and sealed up and that's looking really, really good. So that's a great sign that they are doing well. And these guys are actually about ready to eat. So we'll be offering little pinky pieces in the next day or so. But they are doing really, I really love well. I pattern. They're, I mean, they're so vibrant, aren't they? You want to keep them up uh, so we can just get closer shots? Yeah, you can see this one still has a little bit of yolk sac. See how full his belly is? Whereas this one, this one, you can really see, is really slimming up. So this one's ready to eat. But yeah, they are so beautiful, aren't they? I love their head pattern. They're very active too. <laughs> yeah, they're like, very, very active. Go. Little lizards, little aquatic newts. They, they almost really look like newts. And they're so beautiful. The coloration on them, the banding. And if you're looking at these guys, I mean, they are so tiny. They're so much smaller than American alligators. Oh yeah. But you can see where they come from. So here's actually a Chinese alligator egg. Yep. So, which is probably a quarter of the size of an American alligator egg. Now guys, the biggest thing that I've learned about these guys is they're extremely fragile and weak, especially when they come out. So I don't think I've had one that really has broken out of the egg. Now again, whether it be maybe the conditions in the incubator are too sterile, that the egg doesn't break down sufficiently enough. Whereas in the wild, there's always bacteria eating and decaying the eggshell, so it's easier time for them to get out. Yeah. So what I usually do is, right when they start cracking the outer layer, so the hard layer here, I'll, I'll take the outer hard shell off. So as you can see, what I did is I took this whole part off and then they just have to deal with this thinner membrane. And this thinner membrane is much like a snake egg. You know, so it's very leathery, so it's much easier to break through that. So what I, what I do is I break that open. Usually have this cracked so they have an air pocket to breathe and then just leave them and let them come out on their own. So yeah. you never want to force them. If you look at that up close, guys, that's crazy because me coming from the snake world, I'm used to this leathery membrane. It's where I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's an egg. And then even with chickens, you got that hard outer layer with these guys have both. They have the hard outer like chicken egg layer and then they also have a snake egg inside that. And if you guys like these Chinese alligator eggs, we're actually thinking about doing a giveaway where we'll figure out the rules for it. We'll probably launch, uh, announce it on our Instagram. So make sure you're following us at Primitive Predators, also Crocodile Cow underscore six yep. and myself, Ryan Gradney. Uh, and we'll do some cool stuff where maybe we'll start the giveaway and we'll We'll send you guys one of these little Chinese alligator eggs. Well, that's the thing is, guys, we have, like, even with the American American crocodile eggs, they're infertile, but, you know, we could hollow them out and clean them out. We have all these different things between snake sheds, crocodile teeth, eggshells, that so we could definitely donate off uh, to the viewers, you know, to just have a little piece of primitive predators at home. Yeah, I mean, how, who, where else are you going to be able to get a Chinese alligator egg from? Like, th this is one thing that if you have this and you mount it, or, like, you put it in, a, uh, like, a showcase box, you very well may be one of maybe 20 people in the world that have a Chinese alligator egg. Like these things are not common. So, and same as like a King Cobra shed, like maybe we'll, we'll give away a shed from the King or something like that, or some of the rattlesnakes where you just don't have access to these, but we do, so let's, we'll share it with the viewers. Yeah, but these guys are doing so, so well. So I'm excited to start getting them on food 
Um, I think honestly they'll probably take like you can get real real small pinkies and I think yeah. they'll probably take that. Or you can even but, chop pinkies in half like yeah. we're doing for the swamps. Yeah, so we'll try that. But they are doing you can see how vibrant they are. Well, and take guys, one more up. And so that's it. what's unusual is like when I had the Niles born, is the Niles just bursted out of the eggs, you know, just like monitors or whatnot. But these guys, man, they really, really need help. And I mean that's just another indicator of why these guys are critically endangered. They just, you know, from the start, they just, the odds were stacked against them. It's like, oh, sorry, Ryan. Um, well, what do you say we go over to show them what a one-year-old Chinese alligator looks like and also what a two-year-old Chinese alligator looks like? Yeah, let's do it. So now that you saw the little, kind of little hatchlings, we will feed the little yearling. So I always think this guy doesn't grow, but then when you compare them next to Oh yeah, I mean he's twice the size of those last And he's things. been eating a lot more. And you see he's starting to get a lot different coloration than even the last time we saw him. So he's starting to get that, you start to lose that... Uh, the hashing colors? Banding. Yeah, the hashing colors. The real banding that he had. Yeah. He's also been, he's also been uh, digesting food a lot quicker because I've been feeding him about every other day and you can see he'd, he probably could eat more. So... He's also very shy. But yeah, he's, he's looking really good. So this is the two-year-old. And as you can see, he, he's he been rather shy lately, but we'll see if we can get him over here to eat. Hey, why, he always bites my fingers. Always. Oh, any chance you could pull him out to show the length on him and the girth? No? Maybe? Mm, fine, you convinced me. What I've also found too, is they're much like American alligators. And don't take don't take, take this to the bank, but for the most part, when they're small like this, Chinese alligators and American alligators, they're not very bitey animals. So you see, all he wants to do is just get away and get under. But you can see what it's what two years does to a Chinese alligator. Yeah, so he is looking awesome. So so yeah, so that, that's a lot of growth. I mean, because they start off super tiny. You see how look, guys. See how she's not opening her mouth at all. Like, she has a, a lot of opportunities to fight me, but she's not taking that. Yeah, she's just squirming, but yeah, she's, I mean, everything changed. Color changed, I mean, she's got kind of a lot bigger. It's like, nope, you, oh. you messed with me. Yeah, she's been very emotional lately, but as long as she's eating, I am happy. So I'm glad we at least got a good glimpse of her. Um, and you can see the difference between a hatchling one year and i think that one year is skinny because it's going through a growth spurt because i've noticed a huge difference even the last time we pulled them out so now it's time to bump that one up in feeding and this one is growing at a really nice rate so they're uh they're doing well all right guys well that wraps up another successful year of breeding chinese alligators so guys make sure you like comment and subscribe to our channel and follow us on predator predators on instagram